Hey everybody and welcome to New Bedford Cable Network's coverage of Taste of the South Coast. I'm Paul Santos coming to you from Pier 3. What a beautiful day for this event. Taste of the South Coast has been going on for 11 years. This is the 11th annual event. It is hosted by the Friendly Sons of St. Patrick and it is sponsored by the Pier Fish Company. What happens is folks come down, they pay, they come in, they walk around and they taste a little bit from every different restaurant throughout the entire region. And everybody's here, they all have booths, you sample what you like, and then you get to vote. In fact, there's a number of categories. There's the People's Choice Award for Food, there's the People's Choice Award for Dessert, and there's even the Best Booth Presentation. And all that happens with drink and, of course, music in the background. So it's a lot of fun. Let's check it out. People come down to New Bedford, not only New Bedfordites, but also people from the surrounding towns. We have one of the more prominent citizens of the town of Dartmouth, Mr. Chris White. You're spending a little time in New Bedford today. Why is that? Come down for a good time. Check out some of the vendors here at the show. It's a good time. There's good food. You get to see some friends. Uh -huh. Bump into you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just an all-around good time coming down to New Bedford. So you're going to go to each booth and get a taste of each I one? I did. Are you going to hit every single one? I I got just about every one. And maybe a little cocktail. And I went back a couple of extra times. <laughs> yeah, and I'll have a couple of drinks and you know, enjoy the, and enjoy the city. Out. And the weather's good and everybody's down here. There's a good crowd and we're having a good time. Well, it's great to see you, Donnie. Enjoy the day. It's nice to see you. Take care. All right, we're joined here by the Friendly Sons of St. Patrick president, Brian Kirby. Great to see you again, Brian. Great seeing you. Well, Brian, you know, he's the first guy you see when you come in the door, so we figured, hey, let's chat with Brian. But before we get to the <laughs> Friendly Sons of St. Patrick, Brian and I go back about 20 years to the early 90s when New Bedford High School went back-to-back -back football state oh, yeah. championships. You were on the defense. You guys, you guys were nasty back there. Yeah, we were a fairly good team. That was a while back. Glory days, I guess. Uh, we're a lot older now, some of us a little, little wiser. Some of us not, but you know, it's, that's, how, uh, that's how life takes us. That was a fun time back then. It was, uh, a lot less responsibility. You could uh, just kind of go as, as, as we went, and uh, now we do with friendly sons. You know, most of us have families and, right. and uh, children, and things are a lot different now. <laughs> right, right. Definitely the responsibility thing, that's for, oh, sure. Sure, for sure. But let's talk about the friendly sons. Okay. How long have you been involved with the organization? I've been with the organization uh, 14 years. Uh, I've been president for two. This is my second year. Uh, outgoing now. Uh, the, the incoming president, Tim Murray, will do a fantastic job. He's actually the past president. Uh, my vice president over there with me uh, doing the no parking is Bill O'Brien, wonderful guys. Uh, our organization has really stepped up, I think, in the community right. as far as what we do with scholarships. Um, we took on the Taste of South Coast as an opportunity to continue to raise more money and distribute uh, throughout the community in regards to our scholarships, our turkey drives, our toy drives, and uh, you know the other community endeavors that we take on, we'll choose to take on. Right. Well, tell me about the Taste of the South Coast because this is the 11th annual it event is. down here in New yep. Bedford. It's a beautiful day. Spring is coming. Summer is coming. you got a lot of people out here. People can sample from all the different restaurants. It's just a terrific event. It's, uh, again, like you said, the, the 11th year, it's, we're very blessed with the weather. Uh, we looked at some things as far as entertainment. We have a great band from, uh, from Fall River, 20 different restaurants, uh, El Knife and Son, with the beer gun has stepped up tremendously. We've had uh, a great, great help from Bay Coast Bank. Um, they'll, they'll handle some of the uh, the judging and the money stuff. Friendly Sons, all of them that volunteer, can't say enough about that. Uh, right. It, I mean, it just all comes together. Tim Murray and the, the entire committee did a, a fantastic job. Countless hours of you know meeting. Uh, we're fortunate enough to, to take over an event that has already already been established, well established, very successful. So just kind of you know, putting some ducks in a row and you know moving forward. We might change a couple of things, but this has been a successful event and just right. it was a no-brainer. It's been a great success. Keep up the good work over there at the Friendly Sun. Thank you very much. Good to see you. 
There are a lot of different restaurants from around New Bedford that are participating in this event, and they're all terrific. For example, Two Sisters, EJ's Restaurant, Tia Maria's European Cafe. We've got Faye's Naughty Pine, Emma Jean's, Mary's, Hook 'em Up, Home Style Catering. We have the Brazilian Grill, a terrific restaurant. Greasy Luck Brewery, The Black Whale, The Baker, Ella's, The Black Tie Cookies, Carmine's Italian Restaurant. We have On The Go, Craft Burgers and Fries at DNB, Free Stones, No Problemo, and Dorothy Cox's Chocolates, just to name a few. So you see a lot of smiling faces around here. That's the reason why you can get just about any kind of food and then vote at the end. So it's just fantastic. We're joined here by Tim Murray. He is, I believe, the incoming president, and he actually served as a president a couple of years ago also for the Friendly Sons of St. Patrick, and you're here today. What a terrific event. It seems like there's a lot of smiles on everybody's faces. I think that's because they're all being well-fed. <laughs> that's the goal. We don't want anyone to leave here hungry or thirsty, that's for sure. Tell me a little bit about yourself. You're originally a New Bedford guy. I know you're now living in Mattaporza, great in New Bedford, of course, a great area, and you're also um, working in the car sales. Uh, yeah. Arena, correct? That's that's true. I, uh, I work in the uh, automotive sales industry for Toyota of Dartmouth, um, another local company. But I'm um, also, as you mentioned, the incoming president for the Friendly Sun St. Patrick and the uh, event chairman for this event. Uh, you know, we're just looking for more ways of revenue so we can give back to the community. Tell me a little bit about how you got involved in this event and what has been your role in preparing the event because from looking around, it looks like it's another big success. Well, that, that's what we prayed for, you know. <laughs> That's uh, until day of, you really don't know if it's a success Pray for or not. no rain. Yeah, that's for sure. We, we consulted the Farmer's Almanac on that, and they uh, they assured us this was the best weekend of the spring, so uh, I think they were right on the money. So, uh, But, you know, we just put a lot of time and effort, a lot of uh, meetings. We have a committee of, of 12 that put this together. It's not just myself. Um, and a lot of hard work, a lot of meetings, a lot of preparation go into the event, and we just try and make it a success. But it wouldn't, wouldn't happen without the... Uh, the restaurants that come forth to put their best foot forward, show off our city, uh, and just, and the best part is they know they're giving back for charity. So 100% of all money raised will be going back into the local communities, whether it's through scholarships or uh, food for the needy or different assistance with our toy drives. And um, not one person you see here is paid today. Right. So we're 100% volunteer organization, just looking to. Uh, to find ways to give more back. Fantastic. Well, you know, I know Kirby spent a couple years as the president, and then they brought you back. You must have done something right the first time around. <laughs> well, I guess so. If they still want me around, that was my goal, <laughs> so not be run out of the club after one, after my first to go around. But uh, apparently I did a good enough job, they want me back. So Keep up uh, the good work. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for coming down. All right. Thank you. I've got so much honey to be happy me. I've got a sweeter song than the birds in the tree. All right, we're joined here by uh, Butch Nielsen, who is a regular down here at Taste of the South Coast. He's from Fairhaven. What do you like about this event? Uh, I like getting out to see all of our friends, uh, tasting all the different uh, restaurants have to offer. It's a good day out. Uh, downtown Waterfront, New Bedford is, is really uh, just a neat place to hang around. Now you're walking around with that plate. You can just keep refilling okay. it, right? Yeah. Well, I'm saving this one because it can hold more. So. <laughs> so you put a little bit here, you put a little bit there. It's yeah. not bad. It's not bad at all. And then maybe, just maybe you can slip in a cocktail there. Oh, that's definite. That's a definite. <laughs> well, enjoy the day. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. And you work for the Black Whale? I do the Black Whale and Carmine's. How long have you been working at these restaurants? Um, Carmine's when we opened in December and the Black Whale when we opened three years ago this July. Let's we'll start with the Black Whale. I see you're preparing a lot of good food for people to uh, try out here. The Black Whale, you're preparing a lot of good food. Uh, the location down there, fantastic. Tell me about fantastic. that. The location is right on Pier 3. Can't get a better location. Great for the events that we have. Um, New Bedford Waterfront, can't beat it. Black Whale, come and visit us. What kind of preparation does it take? to set up this booth and to be here today at the Taste of the South Coast? Um, we have an amazing kitchen staff. They work phenomenal, nonstop, prepping days before, getting everything ready. Today, as you can see, they are nonstop on the go. What time did you guys get here? Uh, the kitchen staff has been here since early this morning, 9 a.m., and then my rest of my crew is here since 10.30. Well, there's a lot of smiling faces, so keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Danielle Sear DeFrias. Okay, and you work for Black Tie Cookies? I'm volunteering today. All right. Tell me a little bit about Black Tie Cookies.
Black Tie Cookies is located on Middle Road in Akushnet, and they have all kinds of fabulous cookies to offer. <laughs> Everything is homemade and has fresh ingredients, and definitely anybody should come down and try them out at Taste of South Coast today. So is it only cookies, or are there other things besides cookies? cookies. Well, yep. that's what the name is, Black Tie exactly. Cookies, Exactly. Right? So yep. what did, you, where did they get the name indulgence. Black Tie? It sounds like it's, you know, formal kind it of It is formal. So if you wanted to... Um, interview Nicole who is the owner she could tell you all about like how it started and how she came up with the name but it really is an indulgence so Fantastic. it is a black tie so where's Nicole can we bring her in all right we're gonna get Nicole over here come on down hi Nicole how you doing I'm Paul Santos from the Bedford Cable Network hi, nice, nice to meet you, meet you. So we're hearing all about, you know, black tie cookies and all that. You're the owner? I am. How did this all start? <laughs> oh, gosh, it started ages ago. I'm super old. Back in high school, a long time ago. You started I making cookies? Yeah. All right. Long ago at the Mattapoisin Inn. Oh, really? Yeah. And then, then what happened? Long. It started to take off? It did take off. And so now here we are. These cookies it are that good. It is. Of course they are. Have you had one? <laughs> Not yet, but I will. Get over there. <laughs> so uh, how long have you been in business? Uh, six years I've owned this business. Yes. And tell me about preparing for this event because it's such a fun event. Everybody's happy. They're sampling what you made. Tell me about that. It's a lot of fun. Look at this. Look at these girls. They're all smiling. It's a great time. Since this isn't really work, it's really a good time. Well, keep up the good work, and congratulations on the success Thank of your you business. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're standing here with a good friend of mine, Dave Tibbetts. He's also an attorney like myself. I have to say one thing. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, then. Now, anyway. I'll behave myself. <laughs> So obviously you've been living down in New Bedford for a while, originally from the Boston area. Correct. What do you like about an event like this? Oh, well, there's a lot of people running around, having a good time. There's families, there's children, good food, good drink, good people, <laughs> and a great audience. <laughs> you were pointing in my direction when you said that. Are you, well, feeling, are you feeling a, okay? In a sketchy manner, you know. <laughs> so the thing that's great about somebody like you, I know you live in New Bedford now, you've been in New Bedford a number of years, what, about five years or maybe something like that? Around that, yes. All right, so even though you're not from the area, now that you're here, you mm -hmm. like getting involved in the community. Oh, it's a great time. There's a lot of nice people down here. That's why I ended up coming here. Much nicer than, it was a lot of people a little less friendly where I was before this. <laughs> All right. You know, I won't name names or anything, but... You know, the people like us that are from New Bedford, every once in a while we tend to poke fun at the place that we came from. But when people like you settle down here, they always say nice things about our city. Absolutely. Well, I came here because I started working in the courts. The judges were very nice. The lawyers were very nice. I felt very welcome here, so I came. By the way, they have a lot of food. Have you been tasting all the food? I have been tasting all the food, yes. How is this? Going very, really well? Yeah, the, the, the line for D&B is much too long, so... <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not that I'm slandering their food, but... <laughs> no, it's long because it's good food. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> By the way, there, there is, uh, you know, you can have a little uh, cocktail, uh, too. Vibe, yeah. Uh, a little the, libation. You might sneak that in. <laughs> well, no, no, I have to drive, you know. <laughs> okay. Hey, thank you very much. Thank Good you. to see you. Right. Right. As you can see, people at all ages can enjoy Taste of the South Coast. Can you believe this? Look at this. What a beautiful, beautiful youngster over here. Is this yours? That is mine, yes. Name and age. Eight months old, Adriana. Wow. And the uh, little tired one over there is Mia. <laughs> That's fantastic. And your name is? Stephanie. You from New Bedford? I am. Are you having a good time here? Absolutely. I come every year. It's my fifth time. You're bringing the whole family. Isn't that fun? Always. Always. It's always. This is like my favorite one. My favorite festival. I love this one. Does the, little one, does the little one get to have a she few tastes bread. here and there? She had bread. Tia Maria hooked it up. Oh, Tia Maria. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the Thank day. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're here at the Greasy Luck Brewery, one of the newer establishments in downtown New Bedford. We don't want to interrupt what they're doing because they're working so hard over here. Can you serve and talk at the same time? Sure, absolutely. How's it going over here today? Good. It's really good, actually. Really good turnout. Everyone's enjoying it, I think. I hope. What kind of preparation does it take to set up down here? Well, um, the chef's been prepping for a while. <laughs> um, I'm sure you got here at the crack of dawn, right? Not too, too early. I, I got, well, I mean, I took, what, three days to prep it. You know, I was here Saturday, I was making it. Today, I came in around probably 8 o'clock, get everything all set and ready to go. But, yeah, everybody's loving it. I got a lot of people coming for seconds, so that's a plus right there. Get what is your name? Sydney McClymans. I'm the um, executive chef over at Greasy Luck. 
Okay, you are? Courtney Miranda. I'm the event coordinator. All right, let's look over here. See these guys right here? They're all smiling and being polite. But what they're really thinking is, why don't that guy get quiet so I can get my food? So, <laughs> so let's step away and let them go to work. All right, we're here with a couple of the workers at uh, Faze Naughty Pine. This is a business that's been around for a long time. You know the history of it a little bit? Uh, well, we've been in our location, I know, since 1992. Other than Before that, I wasn't born. So. <laughs> Boy, that, she, re she really made us feel good on that one, didn't you, Gus? <laughs> and what about you? My name's Emily. I worked at Faze for about a year now. All right. So tell me about the restaurant. It's a very, very popular spot. People yeah. like to go down there to Dartmouth and enjoy the food down there. Tell me about the restaurant. Uh, they love the pizza. <laughs> they love the pizza. So what do you do? In I'm the catering and event planner. All right. And uh, you talked about the pizza. Is there some kind of secret ingredient that only FaZe knows about? I don't know. I think Evelyn, our owner, knows, but I don't know. It's not that high up on the, on the pole. I think she's not telling us. That's what I think. I think she knows the secret and she's not telling us. How long have you been working there? Just about a year. Yeah. How do you like yeah. it? I like it there. It's fun. Yeah. It's a good atmosphere. What about this event? A lot of preparation for this? Yeah, the whole day. That's about, that's about a lot. So it's known for its pizza, but a lot of other good food there too. Yeah, we have a, a large variety for our um, healthy menu, and then we have um, quite a bit of seafood dishes. And so, pasta. 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 Yeah, yep. pasta. <laughs> Lots of pasta. <laughs> you sell a lot of that over there. We right? do. It's my favorite. I eat it every day. <laughs> I eat pasta every day. I really do. You said you're the event planner, right? Yes. So this is an event you had to plan. Yes, I did. I did plan it. <laughs> I've been on the phone with uh, the coordinator for about a week. <laughs> so, you know, people come down here and we're just kind of walking around and eating. We kind of forget what the planning is and all the yeah. work that goes into it. Yeah, no, it was definitely a bit of scrambling towards the end, but a lot of preparation. <laughs> well, keep up the good work over there at FaZe and enjoy the day. Thank you, Thank you, you too. Thank you. Wendy, Wendy. Oh, here we go. We need you, buddy. Let's go. Looks like a pretty serious game of cornhole going on over here. How long have you been in business with DNB Burgers now? DNB Burgers has been open for two and a half years now, believe it or not. Yeah, it seems like it went by quick. It feels like it went by quick. It's a great location, it's been very successful. How did that all come together? I think we just make a good product. We're very passionate about what we do. We care a lot about our community. Uh, we just try to make the best possible product for the best people we know around. So, One of the things you're known for, of course, is DNB Burger. So there it is, a burger. They just gave me this burger, and I'm talking to my cameraman, Lucky Gus. Guy. I, I, I'm going to take this and eat it in about 10 <laughs> seconds. I can't even stand looking at it. But you have a, a real, um, I don't know, uh, the word is spreading about how juicy these burgers are. What do you do with these burgers? How come they're so good? Well, we grind in-house, so it's a blend of chuck, short rib, and brisket, which gives it a very unique uh, flavor that's very much a DMB burger classic flavor, um, and it also creates that juiciness that you're talking about. And then we definitely are making everything else in-house, in too, so we make our own pickles, we make our own bacon, sauces, everything, right down to the pickles. So. Sometimes when I'm working the grill, which is not my forte, <laughs> Burgers come out like hockey pucks at no. my house, but you guys know how to do that. That's right. We use the flat top. That's the secret <laughs> is the flat top, not the grill, so you don't get the char flavor. You just taste the meat. Yeah, right. That's right. Well, keep up the good work, and congratulations on the success. It. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Silver Fox, they call me. I'm, yeah, really. I sing for a living. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Not, not, well, I do, uh, I'm 90 years old. Oh, wow. And I do uh, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Perry Como, Michael Buble. Oh, what's that? I asked a boy down the Cape who was about 25, do you remember Dean Martin? He said, yes. who does he play for? I did. I, I said, him. yeah. Show. Well, he said, who does he play for? And I said, the Red Sox. He said, I don't know. <laughs> So tell us your name so we'll have it for the audience. George R. Cataldo. George Cataldo. How do you spell it? C-A-T-A-L-D-O. And you're still performing? I still am singing uh, in uh, Padenerum on June 16th. What's your favorite Frank Sinatra song? It's probably I Can't Believe I'm Losing You. Can you give us 15 seconds of it? <laughs> you know, with that music playing, I say, it goes, I can't believe I'm using you. I see your face at night. I can't sleep tight. I can't believe I'm losing you. Oh, that's unbelievable. Fantastic. 
You're definitely the best dressed person here today. Well, I, he's, he's in this building as well. You used to own that building right across there. Yeah. What he, building is that? That one that's got the chairs outside. It's uh, the, it used to be New England Boiler Repair and Welding Company. Right across the street. Now it's got the, I think it's a, it's, and they named the street after my mother, Rose Alley. Yeah, so that's, I'm a former New Bedford boy. But I sing down in Florida, I sing in Utica, New York, and Syracuse, New York. But I enjoy it at my age. Are you originally from New Bedford area? Oh, New Bedford, yeah. I was, I was a vocational student, but I went with Sears Roebuck for 35 years. And I was a mayor of, um, assistant to the mayor in Brockton for eight years, and a city councilor in Brockton for 18 years. Wow, quite the resume. Well, one thing is for sure. What is this right here? Is there something that says the mayor? The top. Yeah. yeah. Administrative assistant to the mayor. Brockton, Mass. Brockton, Brockton Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Right, right. Well, they're giving out awards, uh, you know, who has the best setup, who has the best dessert, who has the best meal. I think we got an award right here. Best dressed customer at the event today. Nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. All right. All right. And uh, how long have you been one of the owners of Freestones? Uh, over 11 years now. Yeah. It's one of the staples of downtown New Bedford for many, many years. Why do you think it's been successful? Uh, let's see. Well, first thing is the location. Uh, the second thing is... Uh, just, just our, our reputation. We just keep on doing what we're doing and try to improve all the time. You know, just, that's pretty much it. One of the things is the building. You know, when people come from out of town, I think we get used to buildings like that, sort of. People that grew up here, we, people come and see buildings like that. They, they think it's fantastic. Yeah, actually, uh, our, our mason, who, do, who does a lot of restoration on historical buildings, said it's probably one of the most beautiful buildings he's ever worked on. Right. So it's, 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 it's extremely unique. It is. Very unique. How about this day? Very exciting day. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I mean, it, you couldn't ask for a better day, really. I mean, if, if it was any hotter, this be this place would be like an oven. You know, it's just perfect, really. You couldn't ask for a better day for this. You know? Thanks, Rick. Are you from New Bedford originally? Uh, no, but my husband is. Okay. And how long have you been involved in this business, Hook'em Up Catering? Uh, Hook'em Up Homestyle, we started about a year ago, last June. And uh, But my husband's been in the industry for 14 years, so... All right, tell me a little bit about this business because this is a little bit different than a restaurant. It's a catering, so it's a little bit different. Um, so uh, we love to cook and uh, people always need food. So we like to hook them up home style, which is the, you know, the name. And, um, you know, we do all types of food. Today we have pork chili verde and Spanish rice, but uh, we do lots of uh, barbecues or um, I do smoked pulled pork. So you name it, we do it. So this is a family business. It is a family business. Right now, it's my husband and myself that run it. That's fantastic. What about today? A lot of preparation to get this rolling. It is a lot of preparation. Uh, you know, we've been working and prepping, planning all week long. Um, so we came last year as spectators and tasting it all. And this year, we decided we wanted to make it happen ourselves. So I see a lot of smiling faces out there. So that's a good sign. It is. It is. It's been a lot of fun. So we're happy to be here. Thanks very much. Thank you. guy right here is a true New Bedford guy, right? You don't miss too many New Bedford events, right? No, I come down here as much as possible. Tell me why you like this one. Uh, you get to enjoy a whole bunch of different food from different restaurants from the area, and it's a little bit of everything. So you run into some friends? Oh, yeah. Find my friends down here. We all hang out. Have a little food? Have a little food. Have a little beer. <laughs> now, I see you looking ahead here, right? You got the big feast coming up later on? Oh, uh, yeah. We got the Madeira feast coming August 2nd. Uh, we sure to uh, expect a huge crowd for that. It's always a good weekend here in New Bedford for that.
There's a lot going on here today. Why the game of the cornhole? Because it's a great game. <laughs> you look like you got the technique down. You uh, play all the time? Uh, yes. <laughs> what is the trick of scoring big points in this no game? No trick for me, it's just luck. <laughs> no technique involved? No technique. Stuff. What about the food? I, what can't give you, I can't give all my secrets all away, you know. <laughs> Don't forget this uh, food here, too. Oh, there is? I got the bear in the cornhole. <laughs> Thank you. You know what you're doing over here? Playing some bago, sir. <laughs> How do you do that? So what you do, the object of the game, you just take that little satchel of beans, <laughs> you throw it in the opposite hole. Are you any good at this? I'm excellent at I this game. That's a pretty good technique working I'll, over here. I'll make it rain out here. <laughs> What's your name? Mike. Last name? For that. Thank you very much. over here playing this game right now? Um, just because I love to test some bags. <laughs> Does this require any kind of technique? Yeah, yeah it's, it's all in the knees. All, all in the knees. It's all about and the then, bend and the arch. And you practice this? Often. Are you an, a natural? Yes, absolutely. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Is this with you? Hi, it's Lisa. <laughs> hey Lisa, I know Lisa. And who, who are these guys over here? I'm Debbie. I'm Manny. Manny. Who's in charge of this group over oh, yeah. here? You are? <laughs> Who's the spokesperson? <laughs> no, no, he's occupied right now. He's, he's, getting a, he's getting a taste of the South Coast right about now. How are you enjoying the event today? Oh, it's wonderful. This is actually my first time here. What an experience. It's been wonderful. You're getting um, a little bit of food at all the different boots oh, and things absolutely. like that? Absolutely. I've probably gained about five pounds already, so I'll be hitting the gym first thing in the morning. That's a good idea. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. But everything's been wonderful. Thank you. It's a beautiful day, too. It sure is. You got the music, you got food, you got drinks. Yes, it's been a great turnout. You can't ask for much more. No, you can't. I'm glad I came. Yes. It's Stephanie Carvalho, the assistant manager of the Brazilian Grill in Dartmouth. Now, there's a Brazilian Grill down, I think, in Hyannis, right? Correct. So that's you guys, too? Same owners, yes. And they started that one first, right? Correct. They've been open almost 20 years, and Dartmouth opened about two years ago. How do you like working over there in Dartmouth? It's a great family, family environment. They're awesome. I love to work at Brazilian Grill. There aren't too many restaurants around that feature Brazilian food. Tell me a little bit about what somebody can expect if they wanted to have Brazilian food. Um, well, when you come in, it's all you can eat, and we have everything is made from fresh ingredients. So we have a lot of staff that work in our back house. We have a hot kitchen and we have a cold kitchen, and everything is pretty pretty much made from scratch. So it's all great, fresh ingredients, healthy food. We have a little bit of everything for everyone. Now we have a large Portuguese community along the south coast, as you know. How does Brazilian food differ from Portuguese food, do you think? Um, it's very similar, but there are some things that are different. Very similar. <laughs> what about the event today? Obviously a lot of work 
preparing for what's going on here yeah. today. What was that like? Um, it's, well, we've been coming for the last two years, so we know that our booth is always a hit. We have a lot of repeat customers that come and visit our table. So every year we have to plan to bring a little more food. Sounds like you're doing something right over here. Yeah. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Yeah, my name is Kevin Thompson. Um, um, I'm here helping the Friendly Suns. I'm with BBM Pros out of Mattapoiset. Well, I know you have the great outfit here, the Scottish yeah. outfit. I mean, I think it's fantastic. Tell me a little bit uh, about why you dress this way today. Sure. So, um, first off, my family, I've got a lot of Scottish ancestry. This is actually Clan McTavish. Twelve years ago, I founded an organization, an organization called the Brotherhood of the Kilt, promoting the kilt to someone that men, people can wear whenever they want. Um, I also do a lot of inspirational mentoring. Uh, and motivational speaking, uh, but primarily I wear this for marketing and PR for my business uh, that I work with. I work over at BBM Pros uh, over in Mattapoisin, and the whole point is to get people seen. And there's no better way than this to get people seen. So do you enjoy wearing this? Oh yeah, every day. I've worn a kilt almost every day for 12 years now. Well, it's real fashionable and it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, no, I love it. It's absolutely awesome. And it gets tons and tons of attention, which is what people want. love it here. It's the best time. Mm -hmm. We love the taste of South Coast. We love seeing the new companies that are out there with the food that's amazing. This year we've got some really great things out there. Really excited. DNB rocks. DNB yeah, burgers rock. Place. Yeah, it was really good. I think Enjoy. it's going to win. So you realize you get the vote. I know. Are you going to vote? I am. Are you going to pick your favorites? And Absolutely. And DNB is one of your favorites. Don't tell anyone. I think I'm going to go with the burger place, yeah. All right, that's cool. It was really, really great. You guys seem to be having a, a really great time. We come every year together. We do. Are you guys buddy? Are you guys really good friends? Yeah. Yes. You many, many years. What do you like about this event? The food. <laughs> Hanging out with my girl. I love my girl. Seeing everybody like you. <laughs> you know, it's a great time because it it's time. something really positive for the city. And it brings a lot of people out to appreciate it because you know the city just it can't seem to get ahead of itself right. it's, it's it's a it's a tough uh, a tough place but you know this thing every year we look forward to it so much fun people should come out and really uh, enjoy it there's a lot to see Name is Name. Shailene Acosta S H A Y L E N E A C O S T A All right you from New Bedford I am and tell me a little bit about why you came down here to taste of the South Coast. Um, it was something fun to do on a Sunday, and it's beautiful weather. I live not too far away, so it was just really convenient, and it was a good, good day. So you tested out a lot of the different food today? Oh, yeah, everything. <laughs> Did you have a favorite? Oh, gosh. So I didn't expect this, but there was a black bean salad. I think it was from um, one of the catering companies. I can't even remember the name of it. It was amazing, amazing. So sometimes you're thinking that you're gonna like something and you end up liking something you never had before even better. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. So that one hit you pretty good, huh? That one hit me pretty good. The, um, I just dropped my sunglasses, thank you. <laughs> These are very expensive sunglasses too. <laughs> Actually what I was expecting, the, the places that I frequent like D&B and, um, and No Prob, I mean, I love those places, but today they they weren't you know they weren't at the top of the, right. the food but this, chain. But this, but this other one, though, that one this really, other one was amazing. Really yeah, now yeah. we just have to figure out who it was. They've got a new customer. <laughs> it's one of the, it, the it's, catering places. Yeah, okay, all right. yeah. All right, I'm, I'm kind of sad that I can't remember the name now. I I recognize it on the box. All right. But. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed the day. Thank you very much right. for speaking with us. Thank you. Right. Have a good one. Thank you. 
I think it's fair to say that the 11th annual Taste of the South Coast down here at Pier 3 has been nothing but a big success. Once again, this event was hosted by the Friendly Sons of St. Patrick and sponsored by the Pier Fish Company. We had a chance to talk to a lot of the folks. They seemed like they had a great time, and why wouldn't they? What a beautiful day it was down here on the New Bedford waterfront. I'm Paul Santos for New Bedford Cable Network. We'll talk to you next time.